Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So as of yesterday, Thursday the 28th of February, Season 8 literally washed up on shore in the realm of Fortnite Battle Royale, meaning that we're now in a new season with many rewards and unlocks and levels to achieve. I'm guessing many if not most of you guys already know of the contents of the Season 8 Battle Pass and are wondering or sat there in awe if you want to achieve all the rewards very fastly or at least unlock them along the way of also simultaneously leveling the upgradable styles for when you unlock them so you can wear them initially straight away. If this happens to be the case for you then this video is primarily one that you will want to be watching until the very end because we're going to be going over a ton of tips and tricks, a ton of new methods and overall a ton of things in regards to how you can level up and tear up the fastest in Fortnite Season 8 and not only how you can do these two things but also simultaneously link them together to progress throughout the battle pass tiers and the levels at the same time. Also towards the end of the video we're going to be going over some secret level 100 unlocks that only few people will be able to unlock for their grind of achieving the max level within Fortnite Season 8 so you guys won't would have been missing anything in today's video and for that reason make sure you stick until the end as there's new ways now that weren't in prior seasons of how you can level up and tear up fast within Fortnite Battle Royale. Very quickly before we get into any more of the video I'd just like to quickly say that if you guys aren't already using my supporter creator code on your screen right now then make sure you're entering it in the item shop because since people have initially entered it they've tweeted me on my Twitter saying they've been gaining so much more XP and it's almost acting as like a secret XP boost so I wouldn't miss out on the chance of earning more XP and also if you tweet me proof that you're using my code on screen right now to my Twitter linked in the video description down below I'll not only retweet your tweet but I'll shout you out and thank you personally to show my appreciation for your support. Using my code in the item shop only also can only benefit you guys because I run VBook giveaways every month and the money that I earn through this supporter creator code I put back into giveaways. Speaking of giveaways I'm currently running one now on the channel a 5,000 free VBook giveaway and here's how you guys can have a chance to win. All you simply need to do is leave a like on today's video, subscribe to my YouTube channel with post notifications turned on so you never miss a future upload, follow my Twitter linked in the video description down below and upon doing all that simply notify me in the comment section that you've completed all those steps, whether you state them in a list like format one by one, stating all the steps or simply wrap the comment up and say you've completed all the above steps and would love to win 5,000 VBooks, either entry comment format will qualify and good luck to everybody who'd like to enter. The giveaway winner will be announced on March 20th and for increased odds and a higher chance to win make sure you're staying active and following all the steps on all the videos I upload until then. So now getting into the tips, the first one that you guys could have done however you can't do it now but I'll mention anyways for future reference in future seasons, obviously referring to season 9 here, is save your daily challenges the day before the launch of a new season that way you can stockpile them up and have the maximum amount allowed before they don't come through anymore obviously in terms of the amount to do when the season launches thus having more XP to earn straight off the bat when you start out at level 1. I've been doing this myself for many seasons now and even before I've bought the battle pass obviously I just want to hop on the game and see what's new in terms of map changes I've completed these daily challenges that I've stockpiled from the prior season the final day and it's got me all the way to level 15 at least because these lower levels are really easy to progress through if you know the means of doing so the fastest possible way. Speaking of daily challenges considering the fact that they're so easy and so frequent to complete within Fortnite Battle Royale and the fact that you guys may have tight schedules maybe resulting in the fact that you can't play Fortnite for hours on end every day, even if you only get 30 minutes an hour, make sure you're hopping on at least some point every day to complete the allocated set for that specific day of these daily challenges because over time, believe me, it adds up. Literally, if you didn't do them and you grinded all the way for just playing the game and earning XP to level 90, if you did so and obviously did these daily challenges every day, I guarantee you guys from doing that same process of just playing the game but alongside doing these daily challenges, you would have already been level 100 by that point. Remember guys, it's the little things that you need to be consistent with to make the big difference here. Speaking of making a difference, Fortnite have took a hugely different approach that many people will actually find useful in terms of how quick we can complete daily and weekly challenges. If you guys don't know what I'm getting at here, well the party assist feature is a new implemented kind of system within Fortnite Battle Royale Season 8 just literally launched as of yesterday upon the launch of the season, which allows you to pair up in completion and progress towards completing these challenges that you get, whether it's the weekly challenges which make it a ton easier from visiting several locations in order to complete one challenge which you can spread out and do in one game, or whether it's just general progress 
towards a daily challenge of dealing a certain amount of damage with a particular weapon type to an opponent. This feature is a manual feature that you can control for what specific challenge you're perhaps stuck on so it won't be there just the whole time and can be activated like I said manually for whatever challenge you may be stuck on whether it's a weekly challenge or whether it's a daily challenge or whether it's just one that you're not stuck on and want to get completed even faster. All you need to do is hover over this specific allocated challenge whether daily or weekly and enable the party assist feature. I don't even think the other end has to enable this feature, it will count towards your progress but obviously towards their progress they will need to activate this just as you have done in order to get the same progress that you're achieving. This is honestly single handedly one of the most useful features that you guys can take advantage of if done correctly as it not only allows you to tear up very fast for unlocking all of the battle pass rewards for completing said amount of weekly challenges because each weekly challenge individually rewards you with around 5 battle stars towards your current tier thus tearing you up quick. If you also complete said amount of weekly challenges for to be specific within each weekly challenge set out of the 7 you are rewarded with a certain amount of XP a phenomenal amount of XP to be rewarded for completing very easy challenges towards your level which obviously then boosts you up through the levels and makes you unlock these selectable styles for these progressive skins in the battle pass even quicker. A prime example of where playing with friends and having this feature activated being useful is this challenge right here for visiting a giant rock head in the desert, the jungle and also the snow obviously being three locations scattered around different ends of the map meaning that you'd have to travel very far maybe across multiple games in order to complete this by yourself but having this feature activated literally your friends could land at one specific location in the same game as you and you will have this challenge completed. With this already being a requirement to visit different areas of the map in the first set of weekly challenges I'm guessing they're going to follow a trait of visiting a specific amount of areas in future sets of weekly challenges whether the challenge specifically in itself is in stage form for landing at certain or a certain amount of different places or whether in the challenge itself it just states to visit three different locations scattered around the map we don't know but all we need to know is the fact that the availability of enabling the party assist feature is always there for us and that we can utilize it for our needs whenever we want so make sure for the fastest way possible to rank up and tear up by completing challenges and ultimately having fun with friends that you're playing with them speaking of playing with friends assuming everybody already has the battle pass anyways because they either unlocked it for free from completing 13 of the overtime challenges out of the 20 available in season 7's end or whether they bought it if you're teaming up obviously people grinding it will have an XP boost a certain amount whether it's big or small obviously helps because like I said the little things make the big difference when done consistently and considering the fact that people will want to grind season 8 and will have some form of XP boost for a friend from unlocking a certain tier in the battle pass consistently playing with a squad that even has the smallest amount of XP boost for everybody in the lobby overall will make a big difference in the long run for like I said consistently playing games. Now there's not really many excuses in our day and age for not having people to play with as you can always hop on social media if you don't have any friends who own the battle pass and ask if people have a certain amount of XP boost in the battle pass and would like to play. So now that we're here now that we've obviously maximised on our XP multiplier within the game how can you guys actually earn the maximum amount of XP within that game in order to be multiplied into the high sum of a number. Well I can tell you guys straight off the bat it's not from just sitting around on your phone AFK in the lobby maybe surviving till the last circle or maybe getting in the top 20 and then thinking how have I not leveled up because I survived so long in that game while survival time is honestly or the longevity of a game being the most predominant factor in ranking up fast as it earns you the most XP this is not the way to go. Make sure when you're landing in game that you're fully focused on playing and maximizing every utility within the game whether it's opening that ammo box opening that chest make sure you're doing everything you possibly can killing people when necessary and also making your way towards the end of the game and even winning would be a huge bonus. All I'm trying to say is be active within the game make sure you're playing and trying to win and the win itself is a bonus but not the main XP earning feature. Literally the longevity or duration of the game the longer it goes on is the main XP earning factor however if you're getting kills if you're doing things within the game and being an active player then you're definitely going to be earning more XP than Timmy No Thumbs over here who's just landed and sat in a bush. Also if you're playing consistently with the same squad you get familiar with your playstyle ultimately making you better as a team whether it's communicating whether it's just generally being able to save each other from particular gunfights or in a situation where you need to be revived this will also help you because then you'll be more confident to challenge more people thus getting more kills as a squad and the more kills you get well the more XP individually you'll earn but with the XP boost obviously the multiplier from tearing up in the battle pass earned periodically throughout tearing up the greater percentage of an XP boost per friend you 
will be earning more XP. Literally all of those tips tied together, if you guys use them every day that you play you'll be tier 100 and level 100 in no time, having everything unlocked within the battle pass and all the selectable styles that are really cool that come with the skins. The final thing to mention that I stated at the start of the video I promised to show you guys was the level 100 rewards for season 8, but as you guys can probably tell off the previous traits and the previous design of these level 100 rewards, that we'll be seeing a level 100 banner, spray and also a sticker themed around the one we've seen previously themed around overall the map changes that happened within that particular season. For example, the cube being a predominant factor in Season 6, so we had a purple kind of level 100 logo spray and sticker, and also the same thing there for the theme of Season 7 being blue to complement the ice and the icy theme or winter theme map changes. So this one may be very tropical due to the introduction of the volcano, the jungle, and overall the sandy lagoon tropical theme that Season 8 is. Anyways, with all the tips mentioned in today's video, you guys will be able to achieve them level 100 rewards in no time and that's everything I wanted to showcase for you today. One final thing before I end off the video, make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed or want to keep referring back to it because this video was action packed and compact, full of levelling up and ranking up or tearing up information that you may need to refer back to it if you missed something or perhaps didn't consider it when playing the game. Also make sure you use a mass support creator code on your screen right now for an additional 5% XP boost or just an XP boost overall as this does greatly help over time. And finally make sure if you want to see more of my content come to you as soon as it's up Uploaded, make sure you're subscribing to the channel and allowing all notifications to come through as soon as I upload when I upload and whatever I upload to do with Fortnite. Thank you all for watching one more time and the support on the channel as of recently, it's been tremendous. We've just recently hit 125,000 total subscribers and honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. So I'm going to end off today's video now. I'm out and peace.